Welcome back. In this episode, we're going to be talking about what do you do to make a YouTube channel that actually gets results. Okay, when we're talking results, each channel is going to have a different goal of what those results look like. And I thought, what better way than to actually do channel audits on a variety of channels? And I had some volunteers, so five people here that have sent me the link to their channel that I don't know, that I haven't visited, I haven't watched their, their videos. We're going to do a channel audit. And uh, I also want to clarify, I'm a very opinionated guy and I'm very successful. I'm very good at what I do, but I have a niche that I'm really good at and I take an influencer and I'm really good at helping them create a YouTube following and monetize it. So let me switch over to the screen here and I'll just show you an example. So this is Chris Crone. He's somebody that I've taken who he's he's already very successful. When we started working together, you already built a big company, you already built a you know fortune and local fame, but I've been able to take him on YouTube and do some amazing things. Now, the channel itself is only 72,000 subscribers. But this channel is generating between fifty and a hundred thousand dollars per week in revenue. So this channel is is very very successful. I'm not in many of the channel or the videos, although I was on this one the other day. I had a fun one time making that one. All right, and let me show you one other example. So this is Paul Jenkins. He's a good friend of mine. He's a positivity psychologist, and he had had a YouTube channel for a few years. He'd uploaded videos here and there, and he had gotten his channel up to two hundred and thirty four subscribers. Now. This shows the four months leading up to when we went daily. We went daily the very next day on November 6th. And you see that with the exception of this little spike that got maybe 70 views, uh, his ceiling was around 20 views per day. Channel-wide, that's kind of the ceiling. And then uh, the day that we went daily, we kind of broke a new ceiling up to 100 views per day. We started to approach a new ceiling of 200 views per day, 300 views per day. And as we started to approach the four month mark, we had a spike. Okay, and so these are the number of views across the channel each day. So one day we had 623, then the next day 700, 900, 1200, all the way up to we had 1945 views in a single day. Now, spikes don't last forever, right? They always come back down, but you always have a higher baseline if you do it right, if you follow the right strategy, and that's what we do. So the new baseline settled in around a thousand sorry a thousand views per day, and then I gave this presentation uh, a month later, and so I had much more updated data. And guess what? This was that first spike. So we had a new baseline around a thousand views per day, and then we had a new spike of like twenty five hundred, three thousand something, and then just a couple of weeks ago we had a spike around nine nine thousand. And you know this was too early to really say where that new baseline was, roughly 4,000. If we go and we bring up the channel. Okay, so here's the channel. Okay, so we wait for this to load up. You'll see that in the last 48 hours, we've had over 3,500 views uh, per day. So kind of a new baseline between you know, 3,000, 3,500, maybe even 4,000 some days, uh, which is a pretty awesome. So hopefully that gives you a good foundation of the type of channels that I work with and the type of growth that I experience and help my, my clients get in a three or four month period of time. Now let's dive in. All right, so uh, first we've got Lizzie Wing. Let's go check out her channel. Okay, nice job. You're up to 1,100 subscribers. What's it about? Skincare, highlighting, makeup looks like. Okay, very cool. All right, and five days ago, two weeks ago. So I'm just looking for frequency. How many of them say one month ago? I just see three that were posted one month ago. So it looks like just two or three videos a month. Three months ago, there's four. So maybe it's as, as frequent as one video per week. And let's take a look at an episode. This one seemed to perform pretty well. Ooh, this one performed uh the best out of the ones we're seeing on the screen here. So let's check out this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Ardell Accent Magnetic Lashes. It says they are easy to apply. Okay, so the focus of the screen right now is your is your eyes and they're in the middle of the screen. Uh, look up the rule of thirds and put your eyes 
uh, on the on the outer edges of that box, kind of like this right here. If you were to make a tic toe uh, screen, look up the rule of thirds. You'll know more about what I what I'm talking about there. I know what he submitted and reusable. So they look like this. There's an upper thick lash during the daytime, like for work, without spending the time to. Okay, so some things that I've noticed. I like the lighting. I don't necessarily like the background, um, but the lighting is great. Um, the background looks, looks a little bit messy back there. Uh, who knows? Do I have a messy background behind me? I don't think so. Um, I like the audio quality. Um, you, you're talking with expertise, so I really like that. Let me go back to the channel again. All right, how long have you been posting videos? We've got some that have done pretty well. 34,000 views 11 months ago. That's great. Okay, so the best stats that I can see uh, just from my public view is that you started this a year or so ago. And uh, looks, I'm wondering if that's the, the best performing one. I can obviously sort sort by most popular. Ah, the one that did even better. So you've had five videos get in the, the five figure range. That's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm going to point out something that, that you did very well on two of the videos and, and my assumption is that that's why these two videos did well. So video, uh, your number one performing video here in terms of the number of views and number four, they both start with the phrase how to. And sometimes creating videos based on questions that people are searching for online will help give your videos a jump start. Uh, in the long run, even if your video doesn't go you know, viral in the beginning, even if it just starts gradually, but then over time it shows up in search, it'll get more and more and more views over time. So that's one reason to go after topics that are questions people are searching for. But also, if it is a video that will go viral, making it searchable, I've seen it give videos an extra boost and help it get noticed. And at first glance, I'm guessing that that's why this video did well. It's how to get rid of blackheads. If I take that phrase, let me actually just come over here to the keyword planner. All right, so if I come right here to the search volume tool and type in how to get rid of blackheads, and check for search volume, that phrase gets searched between 10,000 and 100,000 searches per month. So you know what I would do? I would do a lot more videos around that topic. And you think, how do you do that? Well, let me show you another tool. Okay, so this tool is called the Keyword Researcher. And I'm going to paste in the, the phrase, how to get rid of blackheads. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that with an asterisk. That's just kind of like a, a fill in the blank and I'll hit play and it'll bring up all the different questions that have the words how and blackheads in it. Okay, now I can add that to the master list. Let's see, what if I, so if I type in how to get rid of blackheads with an asterisk and I hit play, it will find a whole bunch more questions that are like it but even more specific. Now I could spend a lot more time typing in different ways but I'll just do these two searches. I'll add that together. I'll clean it up so it eliminates duplicates. I'll select all of those and I'll come back to the, the AdWords Keyword Planner. So I'll come in here to modify the search and I'll just paste all of those 400 plus phrases in there and I'll get search volume. Okay, so now we've got a video that we can make on how to remove blackheads at home or from nose using toothpaste. You can make a video on that. That gets searched over a thousand times a month. How to pop blackheads, if you want to demonstrate that in a video. How to get rid of blackheads at home, another one uh, from nose at home. So anyway, that's the idea. The moral of the story is you found an opportunity that you've done really well. Your best performing video has gotten 70,000 plus views and so you can make a few more videos that just by creating it on that topic, YouTube is going to start sending traffic your way and it will draw in more people. You obviously will be able to make helpful videos. You'll be able to establish yourself uh, as more of an expert. So um, the only other recommendation that I would have is 
find a way to increase your post frequency. To have a channel that has had a video get 70 plus thousand views and yet you've only got a thousand subscribers, yeah, you should have more subscribers. You should have more subscribers than this. So is there something that you can do to post a couple times per week? Is there? And here's just a question you need to answer and you only you can answer it. Is there a possibility of you doing five or more videos per week? What would it take for you to be able to, to do that? Okay, now let's look at channel number two. Cool, acapella. All right, so brand new channel. We've got 16 subscribers. How many video? Okay, we've only got, so we haven't posted anything recently. We've got videos that have been posted two years ago and as most recent as one year ago. Let's see, this is a Merry Christmas one. Okay, so the audio quality isn't very good. This was just everyone singing around a camera and the camera picked it up. Um, it doesn't look like this is a serious channel and I'm not insulting your channel, but you haven't posted anything in over a year. So you've got some some you know good a cappella music, you've got some good singing ability. Um, this one looks like it might be filmed a little bit more professionally, and it does have, you know, more views than the others. Let's take a look at this one. And strange, and frightening sounds. That's and interesting, kind of unique. Whenever candlelight flicker, but with ghoulish delights. So that's from Disneyland, yeah. All right, so it's fun. I like the the camera angle, but there's just one shot. And, and I'm not going to give you a lot of uh, advice or, or critique your filming style, but I do notice, um, I do notice that it, the camera was just sitting in, in one spot, and so some different cam camera angles could really... Uh, make it more interesting, but you want to know how can I make my channel more successful? You probably want to know how can I get more views on my videos? You've got to make more videos um, At least one per week. You've got to do at least one per week. All right I'm going to go check out Tomahawk DIY Okay, we're up to 14,000 subscribers. Nice job How often are you posting videos? Got one that went live today three weeks ago Three of them a month ago, three of them two months ago. Okay, so it looks like you're doing about one video a week almost, maybe three videos a month. And let's take a look at the video that went live today. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY, everyone. I'm Mike. Today we're going to take a look at preparing um, to paint on this Wayne's card or speedboard and chair rail. We'll be filling in nail holes. Uh, I'll also show you. So I wonder if you could have a lav mic, something attached to so the audio is a little bit better. I really like how you jump in to say, hey, this is what the video is about, and then it switches over to B-roll uh, so that we see that. You're probably going to have a good watch time because we're actually seeing it. We know we know what you're doing, but the audio quality, it just sounds like you're, you're a little ways away from the camera in a room that's got a little bit of an echo. Um, so let's just start watching from here. Okay, let's ready to put the caulk in. I'm using DAP white, all purpose acrylic latex caulk plus. I noticed that there was a light that was moving around uh, as if you had a headlamp on. Um, I would suggest putting a lamp or a light on a stand so that it's, it's consistent throughout the whole video. But uh, you're, it looks like you're creating some good content here. All right, let's take a look and see what some of your most successful videos are and see if we can guess why okay very cool this is fun you've had several videos two rows three rows wow more than that you've had a lot of videos break a hundred thousand views and it's insane that you're not at a larger subscriber amount so um that's a question that you want to know the answer to why am I getting hundreds of thousands of views and yet I'm not getting that many subscribers? Are you asking people to subscribe? Do people know that this is a regular channel? Do you put content in your episodes 
that would make people want to get to know you, that show your personality and make people want to be a fan of you and see what you're doing. If people knew that you put out a new video every Monday, even if it's just at least one video a week and you put that in your banner and you said that in every episode, hey, we'll see you next Monday. You know, that would give people a reason to subscribe, even in the beginning of your video. Um, hey, it's Monday again, so we've got a new episode for you. Uh, it's going to be about such and such. And I'm just throwing ideas out there. I don't know which ones of those are the best. But you've got to see what you can do to convert more of these views into subscribers. Let people know that this is a channel that they should be coming back to regularly. The other question that I am really curious about is what is your plan to monetize this channel? If it's only through AdSense, that's, I mean, you're, I'm sure you're making AdSense now because you're getting lots of views. Um, but I would look into how you could monetize it off of AdSense or outside of YouTube. You know, what services could you offer? What guides could you sell? What products could you sell? What affiliate links uh, could you promote? And uh, what sponsorships could you have in your videos? And um, yeah, you're getting enough views on your videos that that is something that could be very lucrative. I mean, we're talking you know, $25,000 sponsorship deal in, in a specific video uh, is not uh, that far of a stretch. Okay, let's check out Dana Thomas's Whole Life Adventure. Cool, is this a vlog? All right, so it's brand new, 82 subscribers. I do not like the thumbnails. You can't read the font there unless you try real hard. Um, it looks like a real amateur uh, designed comic. So I would um, let me, I'm guessing that this is like a travel vlog. Okay, you've just done, um, you posted four days ago, so we'll check that one out. Uh, RV Adventures, cool. So I would take a look. I've got a, a, some friends of mine that their channel is called Less Junk, More Journey. And uh, I don't want to close this tab. I guess I'll have to hit back. Okay, so I would take a look at this channel and I was wanted to have the music stop there. I would take a look at this channel and see what they're doing right because they they only have 80,000 subscribers and but they get tens of thousands of views on every single video. Some videos, you know, get get more of the viral, but without going viral, they're getting a good percentage of their their viewers coming back and watching their videos and they post several videos per week. Look at their thumbnails. Do you notice something about their thumbnails? They're, the photo takes people along the uh, on the adventure, and they've got a very consistent uh, font and color in their text. They add text to their thumbnail, which is different than the title. That the, they don't use the same text in the title as on their thumbnail. So pay attention to to this channel, and I highly recommend following that. I highly recommend following that approach. So let's come back and let's check the, the video that you posted four days ago. Hey guys, welcome back. And on this episode, oh, we're going not to a good way to start some a video. of our first adventures that we had in Minnesota, so the Mall of America, to check the education. Let's explore. So this isn't the start of it. Goals. Okay, so this is more of a storytelling thing. Okay, we also enjoyed the rainforest. rainforest. But it's mostly still photos. Okay, here we go. All right, so series. I'm going to show you something else. Okay, bucket list family, swim with whales, Tonga. I'm sure it'll bring up the right video. All right, I'm assuming it's this first one right here. I want to show you the style of this video because it, it narrated and told a story after the fact. Meaning of our family adventures. Okay, so Garrett here. Let me get it so his eyes are open around the world. Tonga. There we go. So. He's, he's sitting here, there's a surfboard above him, he's just sitting on a, count, a couch, but he's telling the story after it happened, just like you're doing in your video, but he's on the camera. So we can connect with him, we can make eye contact with him, he's talking to me, he's telling me the story, and so when he was out doing this epic adventure, you know, and he did vlog along the way, but the majority of this video, because it's a longer video, it's nearly 20 minutes, majority of it is used as just epic footage without narration or it's used as b-roll 
this is just so great. And what do I mean by B-roll? B-roll is if uh, if we hear a voice of Garrett talking, you know, we could hear his voice talking here while he's showing what happened uh, with the whales. And be on the lookout from the very beginning because you don't know where these whales are going to be. Sometimes you'll see one right away, sometimes it's going to be hours and hours of waiting, a lot of patience looking for a whale. Okay, well, I'm going to, I recommend coming and checking out this video. Look at some of the other videos that they do, the way that they vlog. And I highly recommend picking a style like this or another style that you like better and learning from it, trying to do that in some of your videos. Okay, so I see that the video that's got the most views is this one. It's got 2,300. We haven't named her yet. Seat an area that we can use as an island. Okay, so the thing that I noticed right off the bat is is we want to see people. We want to see you in these videos. Now, you know that there's plenty of channels that don't do that that aren't successful, but that's what I want. That's what I'd be looking for. My biggest recommendation for your channel is to change your thumbnail design to something. Um, you know, like uh, the Less Junk More Journey channel would be a great idea, but pick your own style, but but not this one. <laughs> Sorry, but this is not a good thumbnail design. And the other recommendation is to find a style of vlogging on a successful channel. Make sure the channel is successful and then copy their style. Right? If you like Casey Neistat's style, learn to create videos in his style and, and you'll find some of your own things that you like to do to incorporate it but find somebody that's successful and vlog like they do. Okay, Ben, let's come check out your channel. Today we'll be playing a fun game with the kids at the park. Okay, I like that already. All right, so we're up to 2,200 subscribers. Nice job there. How long have we been going? Well, it looks like we haven't posted a video in quite a while. Last video was over a year ago, so it's not an active channel anymore. A lot of the videos have, have gotten into the thousands of views, which is great. My guess is that a lot of the views came more recently. I'm guessing that this channel has started to pick up traction slowly, um, but that these didn't get a lot of the views in the beginning. And so you've got a channel here that's starting to pick up momentum. Again, this is just a guess, that it started to pick up momentum even though you haven't posted a video in over a year. So pretty interesting here. Let's, let's see what some of your most successful videos are is according to views okay 62,000 views balloon games parachute games so pay attention to what you did here with the thumbnail um, because both these have a similar thumbnail design and they're your top two performing videos okay I'm gonna go back to just sorting by the most recent and go look at the video that you posted one year ago today we'll be showing you a fun activity to improve so it's just a one minute video. That makes me think more along the lines of, of Facebook. You expect to see a, a short one minute video on Facebook, but YouTube, we expect to see more. Your children's by motor skills. For this activity, you will need a piece of styrofoam. So something that would give this a little bit more personality is to have you on the camera and say, hey, would you like to show your kids a fun game that would increase their fine motor skills at the same time? All right, and then take yourself off the camera and now go back to this and now you're explaining and put a little bit more personality into it. There's a lot of people that would disagree with that. There's very su successful channels like Jerry Rig Everything where he talks in a very matter of fact way. But I would say, and I talk in a very matter of fact, kind of boring way. I'm saying be a lot more exciting than I am and uh, because you're talking about a fun activity here. Golf tees, marbles, a marker, and a stopwatch. To play the marble race game, take a large piece of styrofoam. This is a great way to reuse a piece of styrofoam you have lying around. Mark where the hole should go, then have And I would also take a look at the channel The King of Random, because they do lots of kind of DIY, create your own crafts and activities and trying things out and experiments. Look at the filming style that Grant and Nate and the team over there have, have created in filming these type videos because their videos are much longer and but they get like a 65 percent watch time meaning that 60 people watch their video on average 65 percent of the way through even though they're they're 10 minutes or longer each video 
So that's my recommendation is to get some uh, get some ideas on how you can film in that style of video for these type videos. Well, and my final recommendation would be to start posting videos, at least one per week. I'm curious as to why you stopped. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that it's because that it's a lot of work and you're not making any money from it. Um, have a strategy on how you're going to monetize it outside of AdSense. There are so many ways that you could do that. I mean, just by selling kits or crafts or items or affiliate links, so that's some things that I noticed that you could do on this channel. So hopefully this style of video was helpful, having me do a just spur of the moment audit. Obviously, if you and I were to sit down and we could look through the analytics of your channel, we'd be able to do a much more in-depth and thorough audit. But let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Just leave a comment below. Let me know if you thought it was helpful, if you'd like to see more of this. And we'll see you in the next episode. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Just leave a comment below. Let me know if you thought it was helpful, if you'd like to see more of this. And we'll see you in the next episode.